Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for being here. Uh, it's great to talk at FOSDEM. So I'm going to talk uh, to present you today uh, Open Food Fact, uh, which is a bit like a Wikipedia of food. So Open Food Fact uh, is all about this problem that many of us have uh, in the supermarket about choosing which pack should I pick uh, for my children. So should I flip over each and every pack and read the nutrition table? Personally, I've never uh, managed to, understood, to understand it. It's a, a lot of figures, so you have to do that for each and every single pack uh, if you want to make an informed choice on food. Also, as you might have heard, uh, the impact of food on public health is massive. Uh, it's the third cause um, of, um, of, um, of uh, unwell, I mean, uh, uh, issues uh, with humans. Uh, it's, and it has many preventable causes, many levers that you can uh, uh, pull to improve the situation. Um, and we wondered if uh, citizens have managed to create with Wikipedia the best encyclopedia in the world, if citizens have managed to create the most accurate map uh, in the world, why, cannot we, why can't we do it with food products? And that's what Wikipedia, uh, what, what Open Food Fact is set out to do. So we have gathered 1.1 million products uh, from all over the world. So that's the website of Open Food Fact. And the intent is to decipher labels, um, which you can also do with the Open Food Fact app. The mechanism is simple. You just take a product, you look for the barcode, and you scan it with the app. And you will get the valuable information, such as the Nutri-Score, about nutritional quality, uh, the Nova Group, um, uh, which informs you about the level of transformation of the product. And finally, uh, in France, the carbon impact, uh, which tells you if the product is not only good for you, but also good for the planet. And it's collaborative, much like Wikipedia. If a product is not there yet, you just take three photos, front, ingredient, and nutrition, and in a minute, you can get those scores uh, for any product in the world. We also decipher those, uh, those E numbers that you can see on the products, those additives, uh, we, using EFSA data, scientific evaluations. Uh, so you get, uh, depending on your age, uh, the level of overexposure uh, for each and every single additive. You can also compare products uh, when you are in a store and you don't know which zero package you want to pick. You can basically, with the app, compare many uh, products side to side uh, and make the better choice based on rational factors. You can do that, of course. This is the, the photo that you, we saw earlier. This, is, uh, this photo has data. So you can basically look at all the breakfast cereals and pick the right one. This is the one I haven't been eating, and this was the one uh, I've been eating as a child, Smacks. You have to imagine that half of the size is pure sugar, 43% of it. Of course, it's data of public interest, so it has to be open. So our data is under the Open Database License, which requires you to be free for all and all use, uh, to attribute, and finally, to share alike. Um, and we have, we've managed to have quite a lot of, imp uh, a lot of impact. We are a French project, but we uh, know the, the community is, uh, is international, mostly European. Uh, so we have one million products that have been contributors by, uh, contributed by uh, volunteers like you, me, uh, and producers alike. We have 182 countries where we have products. If you're going to North Korea, we still have no North Korean products in the database. <laughs> we have 1.5 million uh, so far uh, users benefiting from the Nutri-Score and the Nova. And as it's open, as we have an open API and open data export, there are more than 200 apps and services using the data uh, to do various things. Uh, what's more interesting even to us 
is uh, the scientific paper that use open food fact to make science progress. So uh, when, whenever, where, whether they want to study additives or the impact of transformation of food, uh, that's possible using open data. And finally, we have 25,000 people who have registered. Uh, I mean, we don't ask for your personal data. Registration is optional. But 25,000 people who have decided to sign up and to be an active part of food transparency. And we can do many, many things with open data. For instance, this is Fanta in Italy. It has 12-person fruit. This is Fanta in Serbia. It has three-person fruit. This is Fanta in Portugal. It has eight person fruit plus sugar or H, uh, high uh, fructose corn syrup. And in Réunion, which is a French island, it has zero person fruit. <laughs> so that's the kind of thing you can do when you have open data about your food. That's another thing uh, in terms of impact. Uh, you may have heard, if you're in, uh, uh, about the Nutri-Score. Uh, that's a picture, uh, one, oh, sorry, my clicker is uh, not responding. Uh, that's a picture that one of our contributors used, uh, uh, did using uh, uh, um, uh, an image editor, and he put the Nutri-Score on each, every single product. Fast forward a couple of years later, that's what we are seeing in French stores. It's not only, uh, it's not uh, just applications anymore, it's the real world. So you can see Nutri-Score that is still not compulsory in France, but producers think, no think it's good marketing to display it on their product. So this, has, this shows the kind of impact uh, like open data and apps can have. Our source are still uh, citizen crowdsourcing, of course. So using the app, you can basically create data. The third party apps that also uh, uh, bring data but no producers are taking note and providing data as well. Um, so you might recognize some of those brands. Many of them are French, but you, uh, they are beginning to have some international ones. And we want to help uh, manufacturers make healthy the, better, the, the default choice. Just like a computer, we want uh, the default choice to be healthier. And that's why we're providing, thanks to the French uh, uh, prevention organism, the, Fr the National French uh, uh, Santé Publique organism, we are uh, making a platform for them to find opportunities to improve their products. So for instance, if they have a, a beef uh, a preparation, they can find opportunities uh, to improve the Nutri-Score or to reduce fat, things that are uh, possible to do for them uh, without altering too much the taste, and that can uh, benefit everyone, even people who are not using open food facts. And we are trying to extend the, the impact beyond food. We have started to do cosmetics with open duty fact. So same principle, you scan a barcode, you have those latent ingredients. I don't know if you've tried reading uh, your bottle of shampoo, but you can't basically understand what's on it. So we try to decipher all that to detect 17 problematic substances and show them to you uh, in the Open Beauty Fact app. So great, that's very cool. How can I contribute? The thing is, as you've seen, uh, you can have impact for all. People who are blind, for instance, can't see the labels. So being able to read the labels uh, without having uh, in, in full autonomy is important. That's the kind of impact you can have by contributing to Open Food Fact. And we are, we're not focused on France or Belgium. We want to have this impact on the whole world. So basically, this is a photo in Vietnam. You see they have a, a large grocery uh, ale, but ultra-processed food is gaining uh, field, even uh, uh, with those, uh, this, uh, this uh, fresh food culture. So you can have an impact on many people and in many countries. And we have many exciting projects that you can contribute to. So you have, we have the native apps for Android and iOS. So if you're an uh, Android or iOS developer, you can help with that. We have the new uh, cross-platform Flutter app that will be easier to use uh, for an even broader impact that we're we are starting uh, uh, planning. We have the Open Food Fact Intelligence, artificial intelligence called Robotov, 
which is able to read labels. So if you're, if you're a, a Python or a TensorFlow addict, you can help with that. Um, we have the OpenFoodFact database and backend. So if, you're, uh, if you code in Perl, JavaScript, Python, uh, you're very welcome as well. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, gamification projects in JavaScript and design and front end if you're uh, more of a CSS person. Um, so this is very quickly some kind of uh, stuff that we do uh, using artificial intelligence. For instance, we detect the nutrient score. Uh, and also, if you live in a country, uh, in any country actually, uh, you can help, and even if you don't have uh, any peculiar te technical skills, you can help improve the support for your countries. There are so many uh, food labels, so many food categories that we need to, to help translating them into your language and uh, expanding the, the knowledge of open food fact. Similarly, you can help uh, improve ingredient detection in your country so that we can compute the NOVA and detect additives. And you can help with our growing environmental uh, effort to basically understand better if the food has an impact on the planet. So this is, for instance, a map of all the European food factories that we made thanks to the data. So many ways to contribute, scanning new products and adding them to Open Food Fact, translating Open Food Fact into your language, there's a lot to translate, spreading the, uh, the word in your countries, among your friends, uh, in the media, designing, making the interfaces better, we have much room for progress there, um, hacking, of course, and fixing bugs uh, that are uh, in open food fact. And with this uh, voluntary effort, we've been able to achieve many great things in the past year. For instance, we have a brand new um, API documentation, uh, thanks also to uh, Google's Season of Doc program. So it's easier to basically manipulate the data and play with food. Uh, I also would like to thank NLNet for its, its support. We are going to, be, to build uh, a privacy first recommendation engine that will let you make better choices based on your preference and the data won't leave your cell phone. So basically you will be able to find the best hazelnut spreads, I mean Nutella is obviously E, but you will be able to find uh, better solutions um, uh, on your device uh, based, uh, tailor-made to your, if you're a vegan, if, you're, uh, if you have allergies, that will be able to, to take that into account. So thank you, NLNet. And uh, finally, we are part of uh, this year of uh, Google, we are candidate to Google Summer of Code. So if you wanna get involved either as a student or as a mentor, you're very welcome to do so. Uh, we have, uh, as you've seen, many uh, exciting projects to, to work on. So let's keep in touch. Uh, either uh, on the website, contact, we also have a chat room. Um, and you can also donate because Open Food Fact is a non-profit, it's, it's a volunteer organization. Um, and finally to conclude, come play with food. Thank you. Thanks for the talk first. Um, I tried the app from Asteroid the other day and I was a bit surprised that it's only with scanning, so no textual input, is that right? Uh, but uh, can you... That, uh, that all the things I could to contribute is with scanning images, so taking pictures instead of entering something manual like, for example, with OpenStreetMap, is that correct? Uh, so you can actually, the, the first thing that we, uh, the, the app will ask you is take picture because uh, that's the source uh, of the data, and uh, if you don't have time, others can finish the work for you. Uh, but if you click on the edit button, you can enter uh, structured data very much like uh, uh, OpenStreetMap, for instance. That's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked. Uh, we don't, we're, we're not scientists, so we... Repeat the question, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, so the question is, how do we grade, for instance, Nutri-Score, Nova, how do we grade products? So we are not scientists, uh, first point. So we rely on scientific work. So Nutri-Score is an open formula uh, by Professor Serge Jacques on nutritional. So it takes into account fat, salt, uh, sugar. Um, and for the NOVA, it's a scientific work by Professor Montero. So it's, uh, we, the data is open, the methodology, we ask the methodology to be open as well. Okay. Uh, I, I'm available. If any uh, of you have more questions, I'll be uh, just next door. <laughs>